before starting the cooking, we need to soak the rice and marinate the chicken. Soak 3 cups of basmati rice in enough water and let it soak for 1 hour. To marinate the chicken, in a blender, add the following ingredients and grind into a smooth paste. Apply the marinade to the chicken pieces. Here I am using one full chicken cut into medium pieces. Cover and let it marinate for one hour. In a large pot, add two liters of water or substitute part of this with chicken stock to avoid using stock cubes. Add all the following spices and bring it up to a boil. If you don't have dried lime, you can add two tablespoons of lemon juice instead. Once the water is boiling, add the soaked rice. Cover and let it come back to a boil on high heat. Then reduce the heat to medium and cook covered for about 7 to 8 minutes until the rice is 80% cooked. Once the chicken has been marinated for at least an hour, we can start the cooking process. Evenly distribute the diced bell peppers, diced red onions and a handful of sliced mint leaves over the marinated chicken. Cover the pot and cook on high heat for 5 minutes. Then reduce to medium heat and continue cooking. Check on the rice. When the rice is about 80% cooked, drain the rice and set it aside to be added later. 10 minutes through the cooking of the chicken. Flip the chicken, ensuring the bell peppers and the onions are on the base. Let the chicken cook for 5 minutes without the lid. We will be recreating a simple dumb cooking process, allowing the ingredients to steam in their own juices and absorb the flavours of the spices and the herbs, with the base layer being the meat, followed by the rice and the garnish. Add the partially cooked rice over the chicken, spread it evenly. This is important because the rice will finish cooking with the juice released by the chicken, soaking up all the flavours and aroma. Drizzle turmeric water and paprika water over the rice. This will add a beautiful colour and enhance the visual appearance of the dish. Follow this by a handful of finely chopped mint. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. The first 10 minutes on medium flame and the final 5 minutes on low flame. After 15 minutes, turn off the heat and let the dish rest covered for 10 minutes. Serve the chicken mandi onto a large platter serving this dish with an Arabic tomato chutney and a mint yogurt, followed by some lemon wedges. Enjoy this delicious and aromatic chicken bambi. Thank you for watching.